Hello 2D. I am going to talk to you about selecting your photograph for your final exam. It must be a portrait, meaning of a person. It must show value. It must be black and white. Um, you can do personal photos if you would like. Um, just make sure that you uh, get them wherever they're stored, your phone, social media, whatever. Um, you just want the face, you know, such as this young lady right here. Um, when you start searching for pictures, you want it to be a larger file. So you're going to search, if you notice up here, it says large black and white portrait 1200 by 1200. That's a good size. It's going to show a lot of detail. It's not going to be blurry. Um, if your image is blurry, do not use it. If you find your images online, if you see where my little pointer is, cursor, it says 341 by 512. That is a small photo. Okay, so this would not be um, useful for you. So let's come down to this one. That's a really good photo. I like the hair, the tasseled hair, lots of values. Let's take a look. It's 582 by 571. Not going to work. Okay, so let's look at this little girl. <clears throat> Lots of detail with the hair. The eyes are absolutely beautiful. Um, let's take a look. 1463 by 2048. That is perfect. Perfect. It is in black and white. Um, so this would be a good selection. What you'll need to do is save your image however you want. Um, that way that we can take it into photo draw and create a digital grid now this is going to be based on your observation skills which we did the first nine weeks the elements of art <clears throat> excuse me you're going to be doing line value texture shape form space and eventually we'll get to the last one color you're going to be doing blending you're going to be using photo P if your image is not black and white. You'll have to switch it over. Uh, a ruler, Google Draw, which some of you may have experimented with. Um, landscape or portrait. You have to figure out what orientation you want your paper. If I were to choose this little um, young person, I would do a portrait. But if the person is more of a landscape or horizontal, I would flip my paper to that orientation. Also, you're going to be using a viewfinder for the first time. Very easy to use. This is not a project that you need to rush through. Okay, so um, I'm going to pause this for a moment and get into Google Draw and get you started with this. Okay, I'm in Google Draw and this is the icon up here on the top left. And I'm going to name my project uh, Grid, whoops, Grid Drawing 2D. You want to name it something that you will remember because this is going to be a very important document. So we need to change the page setup so you're going to go to file you're going to scroll down to page setup right here is a pull down menu you want to go to custom all right portrait we're, we're working with 9 by 12 paper so we're going to do 9 12 apply now, if you're wanting to do landscape, you're going to go to File, Page Setup, and then you're going to switch these numbers. Boom. Okay, so it's no longer portrait, it is um, landscape. 
All right, but we are working with portraits, so that's what I'm going to work with. Now, the first thing that we are going to do is we're going to create a table. Now, we know that it's 9 by 12, so we're going to go insert table. We're going to go over 9, and we're going to go down 12. Whoops. All right, so that's going to be it. There's the table. So now we need to make sure that the table can fit this page. So we're going to grab the table itself. And we're going to bring it all the way up to the top left. Now, you'll notice there is two red lines on the left side and on the top. So go ahead, put that on there. You're going to take the bottom and you are going to bring it all the way down to where you know that that's fitting. Okay, now your table is um, a good fit for your paper. Now, these boxes are one inch dimension. So what we need to do now is we need to change the border weight. So we need to make sure that we can see the border weight on your table. So we're gonna take it to a two. And I know my picture is going to be black and white, and I want to be able to see the table that I created. So if they're black, I'm probably not going to see it. So what I'm going to do is go to order color, and I'm going to go red. All right. So what I need to do now is I'm just going to slide this over a little bit to where I can see my page, which is the gray checkered. I'm going to do insert image. My picture is on my, let's see this one, on my desktop. So I put that in the corner. I'm going to bring it all the way down so it's fitting the entire page. And you really want to make sure that it is on there good. Okay, where it's not going over. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to click on the picture. And you'll see that it is selected by the blue dots and the blue line. What we're going to do is go to Format Options, Adjustment, and we're going to make this picture transparent. Okay because we kind of got to see where the, the table's at. So we're going to take our table, and the only time you can actually move the table is when you ha have the cross. Okay, come on. Okay, there we go. Grab it and then pull it over. And then you want to get it in there so it's it does fit on your picture. If it's crooked, your picture's going to be crooked. See how it's not even? We need to change that. And I just moved the picture. Okay, I'm going to push that picture behind. So I'm going to go to Arrange, Order, Send Backward. So the picture just went backward, and now I can grab. There we go. I can grab the table and move it. And you want to make sure that if you're moving something, you want to move it by the, the corner. Do not stretch it out on the sides or the top because you will distort what you just created. All right, now you will 
need to, I guess I get that as close as possible. I'm going to bring this down just a little bit. This can be a little tricky, but you're just going to have to be patient. I'm going to bring this in just a hair. There we go. Okay. So now we're going to go back to format, format options. Okay, this right here, we need to take away the transparency because we want to see the picture again. And then we are going to move that table back onto the paper. Okay, and you'll know if you got the table if you see this outside edge. Okay, so this is the image that I'm going to start off with. Now, the, what's nice is we're not going to print these. You're going to save it because you have to turn this in along with your drawing. But what we're going to do is we're going to take each individual square and draw that specific square. Once you finish it, you're going to click on it, click this, Make sure that's highlighted, border color, sorry, we're going to make this white. So you know, check mark, I got that one done. Okay, like this one, we're going to go fill color, white, I have that done. Now, once you get this completed and it's all white, you'll have to go back and undo those, which is just control Z. Uh, so that way you're able to save this image so you can turn it in along with your drawing that you will be doing. Okay, that, I believe that's it. Um, go ahead and start looking for your images and uh, we'll get started.